Welcome to our data science tutorial. Today, we're tackling an important topic in data preprocessing, min-max scaling and normalization in R. One of our viewers has a specific question about how to create a function that effectively scales both training and testing data sets. The viewer is looking to create a function that takes in both a training set and a testing set, applies min-max scaling to the training data, and then uses the same scaling parameters to normalize the test data. This ensures consistency and accuracy in model evaluation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember today just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's start by understanding the concept of min-max scaling. This technique transforms features to a common scale, typically between zero and one, which is essential for many machine learning algorithms. Now, we'll look at the function you've created. It takes in training and testing data sets, calculates the minimum and range from the training set, and then applies these values to scale both data sets. To vectorize the for loops in your function, we can use the supply function. This will allow us to apply the scaling operation across all columns without the need for explicit loops. For your second question, there are several R packages that can help with min-max scaling. One popular package is Caret, which provides a range of pre-processing functions, including normalization. In summary, by vectorizing your function and utilizing existing packages, you can streamline the min-max scaling process for both training and testing datasets. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this example, we start by simulating a data set with three variables. We then split the data into training and testing sets. Next, we define a function to normalize the data using min-max scaling. This function calculates the range for each variable in the training set and applies the normalization to both the training and testing sets. After applying the normalization function, we can see the ranges for each variable and the first few rows of the normalized training data. This process ensures that both the training and testing datasets are on the same scale, which is crucial for many machine learning algorithms. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.